Okay, welcome. It's time for another Lightning Strikes Twice. That's right. Uh, two, uh, two topics. What? One person, five. What's the math? Five minutes a piece. One topic per person. Two people. Ten minutes. Yes. 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 In theory, about ten minutes. That's it. Sorry, I had two sips of this dense beer and now I'm <laughs> incapable of mathing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. So I think do I go first then, right? Yes, that is correct. Okay. I got the timer ready. So um, I, I don't know what really this category this falls into, but. Um, but hey, huh? But, but stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> uh, so, but anyway, um, h- here we go. Um, should we have homework in, in school? Aha. Uh-huh. Mm. I had a lot of homework today. Um, that's a good question because there's, there's kind of a divided school of thought on that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the, yeah, I, my answer is it, it really depends on what you're studying. Because there is some stuff that's just like so much information to pack into like a, a few years for a degree, for instance, like mm-hmm. science, science is just really heavy on knowledge and stuff. So you kind of have to do a lot of work. Well, yeah. Um, and like when you're talking like college level stuff, it does make sense. But I'm thinking like yeah. elementary school, middle school, stuff like that. No, I think that's actually pretty dumb. Like maybe here and there, like a study guide or something, just something to kind of like, not for points, but to like give you something to help you facilitate some extra learning on your own time. Sure. Should you choose to, should you choose to, you know, my, my thought on that is like the only homework that really makes sense at that like age range, even going up into high school is like long-term projects. Um, where, mm-hmm. because I remember back, back in my elementary school days, we had this, uh, well, like for instance, we were talking about the Alamo, we were learning history and stuff. We were talking about the Alamo. One of the, the homework assignments was to basically build a model of the Alamo and mm-hmm. you do that in your spare time, like after school and stuff. And then eventually everybody brought theirs in and, you know, to varying degrees of success, um, you could tell some people had a lot of help from their parents. Um, but that, <laughs> that, like, I think that's fair. That's a reasonable thing. But to basically do the stuff you would do in class, but do it at home, like, oh, yeah, add this on top of it. Like, oh, yeah, you've got more things to fill out. Like, and you got to do it after school and then bring it in the next day and you're going to get graded on it. Like, that's kind of bullshit. Yeah. So much of it is just busy work, too. It, like, yeah. Like, yeah, so long-term projects, um, making up some sick time, maybe. Mm-hmm. Doing uh, a report. A, a report study guides, sense. reports. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, like research, you know, learning yeah. about, learning how to research and all that stuff. Like, yeah, yeah that makes sense, you know. Like, but I don't know, like book reports and things like that. Like, <laughs> uh, in this book, uh, uh, Spot Chase the Red Ball. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Uh, Oh, I remember book reports. Oh, yeah. Like that starts to become a little bit more feasible as you get older. But I mean, I remember, you know, Mm. like second grade doing book reports. And it's like, you don't know how to summarize a book. And like you said, it comes out exactly like you're saying, you know. And and of course, the other students get bored. I found some stuff from my my school days, actually, Mm -hmm. uh, going through my parents' house. And I, I was just looking at them the other day and, um, like I've always been pretty good at writing, but even then it was like, these topics are so boring. You can't really write that well. Yeah. Like it's just not possible. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like uh, as far as like what I'm doing now with like language courses and stuff, like mm. for me, homework feels like a, a good way to like, for one thing, I'm not graded on it. Like it's mm-hmm. just there to help me. So like, it's it's like a low pressure sort of thing that just helps me like get into gear and take some more and time. It to can be productive. That. That's the yeah. thing. Is like if you teach people the right way, people will want to do stuff extracurricular yeah. learning. Um, 
it, it, you just naturally will be interested in that and, and want to dig a little deeper. And the brain needs to take a break. Yeah. Like, like often, but mm -hmm. maybe not like all the time, you know, like these giant summer breaks that American schools take mm -hmm. a bit too long. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, here are the most they take off. is like six, six and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, even then, like, I feel like you probably forget a lot, but it's true. <laughs> uh, as long as that's just kind of like the, the, the dividing marker between like this lesson and that lesson, it's not such a big deal. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a quick refresher and you go back at it. But as far as like having to fill your entire day with learning, 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 just sleep, eat shit, go learn some more. Yeah. That's Regurgitate what you've learned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think that really helps people actually learn. Honestly. Mm -mm. I remember hardly anything from high oh. school days. I know. Same here. That's, that's time. That's a school bell. Yeah. Yeah. It actually is too. That's <laughs> funny. That's the, the name of the, the file that, that, that sound, <laughs> that sample hmm. school bell. <laughs> that's appropriate. Well, so it's your turn now. Okay. So I have to read this one because it, it's got a little bit of a, a preamble. So I'm going to like bring up the topic and then read a short excerpt so that we know like what's said here. Okay. Okay. So uh, current event, basically politics. Right. Does the 14th amendment actually bar Trump from running? <laughs> so the, the section that they talk about is section three and in it, it says uh, so-and-so shall have engaged in uh insurrection or rebellion against the u.s or given aid and comfort to the enemies thereof can't you know like run for any public office whatsoever there's no mention of conviction just if you were in an insurrection uh sorry pal and you know they put it there because of the confederates right so yeah, yeah. what are your thoughts well i mean you know, it's really, it's tough because it, it just comes down to your perception of exactly what went down that day. Um, I, looking at it, I wouldn't really call it an insurrection. It was certainly a riot. Like, for sure. It was a riot. People getting all worked up, coming into the building and walking around and sitting and taking selfies and grabbing shit. And, you know, like... That it's a riot. It wasn't an insurrection. There's no like real risk. Well, no, no, nobody was armed except unless you count like oh yeah black holes. No, yeah, there no, were. There were no firearms. None. People were getting shot <laughs> they, by the the cops. No, no. There's only one person that got shot, and that was one of the rioters. At, as it was as far from as another rioter though, huh? No, no, it was, it was from they, another riot. They were shot yeah. by like the Capitol Police, I believe. Or, or some yeah. of the people inside the there building. Were, there were definitely people bearing arms. Um, well, and, not uh, in the building, though. That's a, it's like, and the thing is, that, that's my point is like, it was a riot. It was not yeah. an insurrection. Like, yeah. an insurrection would be a lot more, uh, well, violent, like in terms of mass destruction. And it, it would be bigger. I mean, they were trying to break down doors and. It, and yeah, leveling it, death threats at politicians. And stuff. It, I mean, it was, it was still a riot. Like it was not, well, there was, that's the thing. And that's my point is the definition. Like what, what is your interpretation of what constitutes? That's a, that's a really small line, I think. And because, the other thing is like, if you're talking about Trump, he wasn't physically present there at that moment. It was a bunch of other people who were doing things maybe, maybe on his behalf, to. but he yeah. didn't like go do it himself. It, it's like, no. you know what was I mean? Was Hitler on the front lines? <laughs> well, no, no, no but no, it's, it's not, it's not a requirement to be there. You, have but that's, to, that's, you just have to incite it. And, the, and here's the thing, however much Trump's lawyers are saying, what you're saying Trump himself is still saying in his own words, it was an insurrection. It was, I don't know that it in was. his own words, <laughs> I haven't seen that. So maybe, maybe that, yeah. but I, you know, again, I don't really follow politics very heavily. Yeah. 
kind of pay I mean, attention like, to things. Here's the, here's what makes it different from a riot. There there was a call to action from Trump to block the the, the procedure of making Joe Biden the president. So there was an action involved interfering with a political um, situation, you know, and yeah, I think that I remember that's, correctly, it, though, a, the- a riot w- would be more like, hell no, we won't go. We don't want Biden, blah, blah, blah. But this was like, you well, know, OK, breaking to- down doors and stuff is like, there's a difference when you're talking about Hitler and that Hitler was commanding people like they were technically under his command, the soldiers who were and the, the people who were carrying things out. The people who were there at the Capitol that day were not officially like soldiers of Trump, you know, like they were just people like voters who were kind of like unhappy with what I happened. Mean, honestly, I'm more frightened of that than an organized army following orders from some lunatic you know yeah but the thing is like like, what he said how official it is doesn't make any difference to me like it's it's something that like is is antithetical to um a peaceful government you know well you 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 are (laughs) correct in that now but if i remember correctly what he said was to like go and make your voice heard or something like that and he didn't say anything about violence it was just that those people who went there got riled up like as 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 happens in crowds of people who are unhappy they get That's riled true. up and then they started they kind of went over the top and like i don't i wouldn't say that trump was responsible for that he, maybe he told them hey go go tell people what you think you know and, I believe and he said stuff there. like stop it at all costs and things like that which you know however vague that might be also is pretty evident what it it, it's it, implying it but the thing is like in my mind it's not like as clear cut it's not as, as as it's not like crystal clear that that is exactly what happened it's actually kind of murky and in that it's like ah i think it would be a thing that a court could decide possibly um weighing all the evidence and testimony and things like that like public opinion is one thing but like I think ah, oh, well, that's time. That's a that's a that's didn't, not a light. Didn't even get into the there. lending aid to enemies part, which uh, there's a whole other discussion <laughs> there too. Yeah, yo, yeah, I know, man. That's 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 definitely something that probably ought to be an episode. And and you know, we can yeah. cover much more than just that thing, that particular mm-hmm. event. There are many, many other things that kind of are similar or whatever that that deserve discussion we should have powers on for that I oh yeah that, he, that, he he seems to be very well versed in things like that mm-hmm. um oh, so yeah. yeah if you want to see a full episode of that let us know and uh yeah. give us your thoughts in the comments definitely so. oh we, we, we we'll definitely go into it so <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah well right um enjoy and hopefully everybody didn't get too pissed Although that that could be <laughs> I'm not fish. <laughs>